Hi guys, this is W Drums here, and I got another Skylanders review for you today. Who and who do we have here? Camo. Look at him. I know we go over this every time, but this takes the cake. Look at the incredible, incredible, beautifully crafted detail. Look at that. The tail. Look at look at the different colors. Oh my word! Look at that. Mmm. He is such a nice looking Skylander. <sighs> All right. So he is the uh, last life element Skylander for me. So let's take him to. Uh, yeah, I got requests to keep doing with Lara Chaos, so I'm just going to keep doing that. Sorry if no one likes that level, whatever. It's all good. Alrighty. So here we go. I know everyone's been waiting for this one for a while. We have Camo, the last life element for my Skylander collection. We have him at level 10, 31 heroic challenges done. I'm missing Wham Shell, and that's it. I have the crown hat which does critical hit plus 10 to make up for the critical hit plus 5 I'm missing from Wham Shell's last challenge and then I'll be good to go so technically he's already maxed out so you'll see him at his best his, his stats are incredible he's a little slow at first but when you get his speed challenges up oh he's a monster alright so powers first off Sunblast Blast enemies with concentrated life energy. Okay, guys, this is first off. I gotta state this right now. Camo, right out of the box, is so so strong. Like I had so much trouble doing the uh, double trouble uh, heroic challenge with him, just because his fireball attack was so strong it explodes and like blows up so many pots. I had to use the the uh, the anvil rain from Empire of Ice just to pass it. It, it was absurd. It was really hard for me. I'm just warning you. He's so good. He, he, I think he's my favorite Skyland at the moment. Next, Firecracker Vines. Conjure up a fast-growing vine of explosive melons. These take a while to understand how to place them, but once you know the way he moves, it's very fun. Searing Sunblast. Sunblast does increased damage, like it wasn't big enough as it was. That Sunblast is ridiculous, like it's so strong. Melon Fountain. Press Z on the Wii Remote to send melons flying everywhere. They're very, very tiny when you first start off with the melons. Firecracker food. Firecracker vines do increase damage. Notice how they change into these uh, nicer looking f flowers. Then we have vigorous vines. Firecracker vines move quicker and further. So without further ado, I choose uh, his Melon Master path, and I love it. It's so, so good. So the first attack, we have Ring of Might. The Melon Fountain blasts out more melons. You have like, what is it, eight there? Yeah, you have eight, I think. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Melon GMO. The Melon Fountain does increased damage. The pitcher already get it first, but basically the melons become huge. Like, huge. They grow in everything the longer you hold it down. Speaking of which, right here, Melon Fortress. Press Z on the Wii Remote to hide in the Melon Fountain. Release to send the melons flying. Basically what happens is the melons, uh, what happens is Camo jumps underground. He dives underground and um, the melons start blooming up and you hold it. And what happens is he'll actually then stay in the circle and then he's like, kind of immortal for a bit and then he can release the melons afterwards if you don't they will pop I'll show you all that and then finally his soul gem I actually bought this first because I was having so much time with those few heroic challenges that you need uh, to do it when they're weak like double trouble drobot zap I actually had all this money so instead of investing and in making him even harder to use at first I um bought the soul gem it's really really cool Orbiting Sun Shield. Hold A on the Wii Remote to create a Sunblast Shield. Requires the Soul Gem in Goo Factory. Now I'm going to explain exactly how to use this more in depth because, I, no offense Action Vision, you did a terrible job explaining what it really is capable of. You'll see. Just you wait. So, 
Let's kick some bad guys' butt, shall we? You see what just happened there? I didn't even mean to do that. But he heals himself. That's what happens. Let me, let me start from the scratch. Okay, Okay. so what you do is, listen closely. You hit uh, A, you shoot that sunburst attack, right? Well, hit A and hold. Like that. Do it two more times. And guess what? You just have the ultimate shield. You heal while you are um, attacking. And actually, if they get hit by these fireball things, they burn. You can actually burn zombies, because technically the sun is fire in this game. <laughs> it's really cool. There's his vines. Let me just do this again. They're not as strong. I mean, they're fun, but I didn't take the vine path, so they're nowhere near as what they could be. Now watch this. Melon thing. See that? Hold that down, and then release. You have to let them all grow out first, and you have to be able to kind of position the melons just right to get the maximum damage. Another thing that's been speculating is Camo's glitch for uh, the Wii, for Melon Master. I noticed it at first, actually. It does exist. The way to get around it is um, I found out that all you have to do is get the last upgrades and all that, right? And then what you do is, all you do is you take them off the portal, and then put them back on, and make sure the damage changed from 30 to 60, and you're golden. That's all you do. It's a really, it, it's a glitch, yeah, but I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. See, what makes his first attack so good when he's starting out is, look how fast it is. It's ridiculous. You could just spam that if you really wanted to. But like I said, he's a little bit slow when you first start off with him, but oh my word, he really is powerful. Let's do this again. See, I hold it. And then the melons just decrease again. So, or you can do this, hold it, and you can move around and push the melons. Activism doesn't tell you that one, you have to figure that one on your own. Find these guys. Or, I'll melon him in the face. Look at that. Look how much damage that was. I might try to verse chaos with him because he's just so good. It's ridiculous. I can see why people wanted him so bad. I, mean, I thought he was overhyped at first, but I'm a believer now. I love Camo. One of my all time favorites at this moment. I'll show you this. You go in the melon sh thing for a bit, you're immortal. Oh, let me do it again. See that? I got hit there, yeah, but I mean, just wait for it. Here, right here. See that? They can't do anything to me when I'm underground. It's kind of like a Terrafin type of thing. It's really, really cool. So that is camo. Oh, and watch this. So, so I'm a little hurt, right? Is it not doing it now? It can be really hard to use sometimes. This shield thing. Conjuring up this shield can be really annoying sometimes. Never mind. But you saw them at work, I mean. So that was camo in a nutshell. Or in a watermelon, should I say. <laughs> so yeah, he is... Phenomenal. My new favorite life element, and then Zoo. He's so strong, you saw what he can do. Alright, so when we return, guys, we are going to do Camo's Rogue Challenge. Stay tuned.